Peace and blessings, everybody out there. Welcome to Mo Truth TV 2023, the fake 2023, because the real 2023 begins in Abib, March 20th, the spring equinox. However, we can clearly see the next page is turning as we march towards spring. We are about to dive into the rabbit hole. It's been a while since we dove into the rabbit hole. So that means this is one of those videos that you have to sit back and pay attention because we are about to be all over the place as we come to the conclusion of the destruction of America. Right now, January and February, it is the calm before the storm because 2023 is about to make 2020, 2021, and 2022 look like pieces of cake. And speaking of 2020, 20 times 20 equals 400. The year 2020 marks 400 years since the children of Judah, as we can see here on his 1747 map of Africa made by a British map maker labeled the Slave Coast, the Kingdom of Judah were brought over here in New Egypt on slave ships. The first slaves arriving between 1619 and 1625 and beyond. Genesis 15, 13 says, Then the Lord said to Abram, You can be sure that your descendants will be strangers in a foreign land where they will be oppressed as slaves for 400 years. But I will punish the nation that enslaves them. And in the end, they will come away with great wealth. Ecclesiastes 1.4 says, One generation passes away and another generation comes, but the earth abides forever. The sun also rises and the sun goes down and hastens to the place where it arose. The wind goes towards the south and turns around to the north. The wind whirls about continually and comes again on its circuit. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full. To the place from which the rivers come, there they return again that which has been is what will be that which is done is what will be done and there is nothing new under the sun is there anything of which it may be said see this is new it has already been in ancient times before us there is no remembrance of former things nor will there be any remembrance of things that are to come by those who will come after in other words history repeats itself everything is a cycle Time is a cycle, and time is controlled by the Almighty Creator. The same crime that ancient Egypt did is the same crime that America has done. And here we are, 400 years later since 1619, 20 times 20, the wake-up year. The first seal was opened by the Lamb. And right now, as we speak in the heavenly realm, the Messiah is receiving instructions from the Creator. At the end of our 400 years in New Egypt again, the Most High gave the Messiah a scroll with seven seals to open and release the four horsemen of the apocalypse to announce to mankind those with 2020 spiritual clear vision, wake up and witness Babylon, Egypt, America complete her 400 year cycle of enslaving the children of Israel just like ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt Egypt, Kemet was the greatest empire on earth. The gold, the riches, the knowledge, the teachings, the art, the wisdom, the technology, the magic and sorcery, the military, the pharaohs, the pyramids, the idols and monuments, the land of graven images, the slaves, the house of bondage who oppressed the children of Israel for 400 plus years. America has committed the same crime as Egypt and 20 times 20, 400 years, time is up. The crown pestilence has conquered the earth and it brought America down to her knees. In Revelations 4, Yahya the Revelator or John the Revelator, he saw the throne of heaven. He was taken into heaven by an angel and he described what he saw was happening at the throne of the Most High. In Revelations 5, it says, And I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll written inside and on the back sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and to loose its seals? And no one in the heaven or on the earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look at it. So I wept much because no one was found worthy to open and read the scroll or to look at it. But 
Yet one of the elders said to me, do not weep. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the scroll and to loose its seven seals. And I looked and behold, in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as though it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. Then he came and took the scroll out of the right hand of him who sat on the throne. Revelation 6, 1 says now i saw when the lamb opened one of the seals and i heard one of the four living creatures saying with a voice like thunder come and see and i looked and behold a white horse he who sat on it had a bow and a crown was given to him and he went out conquering and to conquer Time in the heavens move different than time on earth. Right now, the Messiah is opening the seven seals before he returns, and each seal is having a massive effect on earth. The first seal, the crown pestilence, made you put on a mask, put on a bow, stay away six feet, no school for the children, and get injected with nanotechnology that can later be controlled by AI. The crown pestilence brought America down on her knees in these end days, and the 5G towers were turned on, changing the free frequency of the earth to demonic frequency giving you a weak immune system making your spiritual shield weaker allowing demonic possession to become easier as everybody began to claim demon time most of y'all y'all don't even remember what the energy of the earth felt like before 2020 the days of normal everybody wants to go back to normal everybody wants to go back to when america was at its prime in 2019 but time is up 20 times 20 is 400 years 2020 was the global announcement to the entire earth that the first seal opened up announcing the return of the Messiah. 2020 was a global announcement that the incoming destruction of America to deliver the black man and black woman out of the land of their captivity for 400 years, your time of deliverance has come. Yah's vengeance will come down on America the beautiful. No longer shall you be known as the children of slaves. You will be restored to your true title, the children of Israel, the prince of power, the royal holy special jewelry of the most merciful one. In 2020, you were supposed to wake up and put the pieces together and realize that there is nothing new under the sun and realize history repeats itself and change your lifestyle immediately. You are supposed to give up drinking. You are supposed to marry your shorty and stop being fornicators. You are supposed to stop doing drugs and stop getting tattooed and stop celebrating pagan heli days. You are supposed to give that up immediately as you realize this is the prophecies being played out right in front of your very eyes. Babylon America was put into time out during the crown pestilence to repent and reflect and submit to the will of the creator of the heavens and the earth before the trumpet is blown before the bowls of wrath is poured out before he sends the angels down but babylon america was arrogant babylon america went back to complete degeneracy and sodomy and devil worship and opening up portals and building ai robots so gins coming out of the CERN portal can have a physical body to move around in and speak to the people freely and openly ai stands for alien intelligence an alien is another word for demon jinn devil reptilian anunnaki ai means anunnaki intelligence it's a spirit inhabiting a robot a computer controlling all computers of the earth all trying is coming the matrix is coming and the whole entire world was injected with alien nanotechnology inside their bodies so when ai takes over they will control people's bodies like robots because the nanotechnology flowing through them will be in control of your blood and muscles and right when america thought that they healed from the first horseman by injecting nano robots inside them the second horseman came on 2 2022 the second seal was opened up by the messiah releasing the red horseman of war over the earth and revelation 6 3 it says when he opened the second seal i heard the second living creature saying come and see and there went out another horse that was red and power was given to him that said they're on to take peace from the earth and that they shall kill one another and there was given unto him a great sword russia was designated to bring forth war upon earth to take peace away and man shall kill each other and this horseman has a great sword and that sword is the hypersonic missiles and the poseidon nuclear torpedoes 
Both of them has been deployed and aimed at America and Britain in the past two weeks as Russia prepares to destroy Babylon America. Also on February 22nd, 2022 is when Pluto completed a full orbit around the sun since July 4th, 1776, which is also George Washington's birthday. The first king of New Babylon, the first king of America, the most evil nation on earth that worshiped the one eye Antichrist Illuminati, the Freemasons. George Washington was a Freemason. A Freemason is a person who worships Satan and Semiramis and Nimrod. Nimrod built the Tower of Babel and today Esau, Europe and USA, EU, USA, Esau, they built the CERN portal in Geneva, Padi Akam, Apollyon, the Destroyer Temple, and the idol of Shiva, which is Satan and Hindu. All of this is located at the seat of Satan, United Nations. The Most High is in full control of time and space and the heavens and the earth. Pluto represents destruction to empires. It brings energy that is used to open portals. It's no coincidence that the Most High positioned Pluto on this date and time, 2-22-2022, to open up the portal of destruction onto America. That was a major sign letting us know that the second seal is open. This is the two-minute warning. We had all year long in 2022 to prepare to flee Babylon once we saw Russia rise up to begin the process of destroying America. We know full well Babylon is supposed to be destroyed by the North. We know full well that Babylon is supposed to be destroyed by the North. In 2022, you're supposed to stay prayed up and repent. Ramadan, Passover, and Easter occurred at the same time. Worship the same God of Prophet Abraham. Ibrahim, peace be upon him, during this holy time of the year. These three holy days, Ramadan, Passover, and Easter occurs at the same time every 33 years. The Asian the Messiah and it occurred in 2022 so everybody can get their souls together, get their sins forgiven, get their fast on, their dedication, their spiritual cleansing and meditating and prayer to the creator before judgment day and prior to judgment day he will send back the Messiah. If you are living an evil, sinful, wicked, rebellious lifestyle and the Messiah catches you when he returns, he will put you to death. The son of Miriam is coming to put people to death. He will clean up this earth with his sword and fire and the breath of his mouth. In 2 Thessalonians 2 8 it says, and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the breath of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when the Antichrist sees Isa the son of Mary coming, the Antichrist the jaw will begin to dissolve like salt and then he will try to flee. But the son of Mary will capture him and thrust his blade inside him to kill him. And right now, the heavens and the earth is announcing the return of the son of Mary as he is opening up the seal scroll in the heavens above. And 2023 is upon us. Is 2023 the year of World War III? I pray not. Is 2023 the year that the third seal is open and the third black horseman rise out over the earth carrying the scales of inflation and severe famine of wheat and barley bringing starvation and anarchy and pitch blackness to the earth as Babylon sits in darkness due to EMP attacks? We already seen the price of eggs skyrocket. This is just the beginning of the coming famine when that third seal is open and we will know when that seal is open once we see the first mushroom cloud on breaking news and 2024 is when the fourth seal could be open when an axe marks a spot eclipse occurs over america on april 8th 2024 seven years after the first eclipse in 2017 signifying that america has to be crossed off the face of the earth again the most high is in full control of time and space and the sun and the moon and he decreed for this eclipse to happen going this direction seven years after the last one going across Babylon, America. But until we reach 2024, we still got to deal with 2023. Wars and rumors of wars. Nations rising against nation. All of these things must come to pass before the son of Mary returns. Let's read Jeremiah 53. 
For a nation will attack them from the north and bring such destruction that no one will live there again. Everything will be gone. Both people and animals will flee. Russia is ready to shoot arrows at Babylon America and we see this prophecy clearly before our very eyes. And it's no coincidence that Russia and North Korea has the technology to shoot arrows across the earth and destroy the daughter of Babylon. Russia has no control. It's already written for them to destroy Babylon. We can't be mad at Russia. The most high allowed Russia to have the most dangerous weapons on earth for a reason. The Most High left Russia with the responsibility of holding his weapons of wrath to take down Babylon at the end of her 400 year oppression of the children of Israel. Everything that's happening on earth is for the deliverance of the black man in America. And when I say the black man in America, it's an umbrella term for all black men who descend from Israel all over the earth. But the black man in America, the tribe of Judah, is the most hated group located in the belly of the beast and the daughter of Babylon herself. And I love reminding my people that we are the generation that get to see how this 400 year cycle turned out since our great 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 grandparents first crossed that scary Atlantic Ocean journey chained up under some evil pink aliens that they never seen before. Sometimes I wonder what was on my ancestors mind as they was crossing this ocean. What was they thinking? Where are they taking us? What will they do to us? Why are they so angry and hateful towards us? I think about what thoughts were going through my ancestors' head during that journey. Deuteronomy 28 49 says, Yah will bring a nation from afar from the ends of the earth to swoop down upon you like an eagle, a nation whose language you will not understand, a ruthless nation with no respect for the old and no pity for the young. Yah will return you to Egypt in ships by a route that I said you shall never see again. There you will sell yourselves to your enemies as male and female slaves, but no one will buy you. And here we are today. 400 years later, we are the children to see what became of America, the ruthless ego nation that swooped down to carry us in ships to New Egypt again. We are the generation to see the 20 times 20, 400 year conclusion to America. We are the generation to know exactly who we are and we get to sit back and eat popcorn and watch our ancestors' prayers get answered. 400 years later, the destruction of Babylon America. And Jeremiah 54 says, In those days and in that time, says the Lord, the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together, with continual weeping, they shall come and seek Yah their Elohim. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces toward it, saying, Come and let us join ourselves to the Lord in a perpetual covenant that will not be forgotten. My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have led them astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. Flee out of Babylon. Leave the land of the Babylonians and be like the goats that lead the flock. For I will stir up and bring against Babylon an alliance of great nations from the land of the north. They will take up their positions against her. And from the north, she will be captured. Their arrows will be like skilled warriors who will not return empty handed. My dear children of Judah, it's time to flee out of Babylon, America. Our 400 years is up. Don't get rocked to sleep in this calm before the storm. World War III is not going anywhere. America has to be judged by the Almighty God for what she did to our ancestors for the past 400 plus years and what she did to the Native Americans and everybody else that she destroyed and colonized. America has to be punished for her crimes and wickedness, her pushing of fornication, adultery, gambling, strip clubs, prostitution, sodomy, sodomites, transformers, drugs, liquor stores, idolatry, pagantry, theft of nations, invasion of nations and resources, filling the prisons up with black and Hispanic men, the children of Israel. The only question is when? We all know what's going to happen. The question is, how close are we to that fast approaching day when Russia and North Korea sends her nukes at Babylon, America? When will the almighty God of the heavens give that order? You see, Russia is positioning themselves in death formation against Babylon. Russia deployed a warship carrying hypersonic missiles. This ship is out traveling the oceans right now. The ex-Russian president, Dmitry, said they should position that ship outside of Washington DC and recently this ship was spotted in the Atlantic Ocean near the borders of the United States water the Russians 
They are prepared and ready to survive a post-nuclear war. They have been preparing their nuclear bunkers and they've been preparing their citizens for war. And recently, on top of their buildings, they have been installing air defense systems, preparing for the incoming missile attacks from America while Americans are living in La La Land. Goofy as hell, distracted by celebrities and scandals and mental garbage, distracted by TikTok and immorality, not realizing at any second your entire city can be vaporized off the face of the earth. Get your soul ready for the nukes to vaporize your entire city in a few seconds. Get ready to not have time to grab your bug out bag and put your shoes on because the explosion from the nuclear shockwave will instantly turn you into a shadow, into a poof of smoke. This is why I say prayer is more important than prepping. There is no point in prepping if you don't even make it to your bug out bag. You won't even have a chance to look outside your window to figure out what that loud boom was before you are burnt into a crisp. And now you're in an afterlife awaiting judgment with the almighty Allah. So the assignment is to spend these final days of America living righteous and stay away from all evil and all pagan customs and just be the opposite of the sinners and be opposite of those that are on the fast track into the hellfire. Don't follow after a person you know is diving head first into the pit of fire. Be the opposite of them. Warn them but do not partake in their wickedness. World War 3 will be a very short war. In one hour, you are either dead or you have to survive whatever is left of your city, whatever is left of America. And if you live in Western Europe, especially Belgium and Britain, the two most evil colonizing nations in history, you better get ready to survive whatever is left of Europe. The wilderness is coming upon us when the first nukes start dropping. Turn on your Book of Eli mode. Get ready for I Am Legend, Resident Evil, and The Last of Us. Be prepared for when you turn turn on a TV or log into social media one day and you see footage of a mushroom cloud rising up. That means that the third horseman of famine has arrived. That means food will be hundreds of dollars. People will turn into cannibals. The other day at work, my co-workers, they asked each other, will they eat a dead human in a post-apocalyptic scenario and the only food around was a dead human body? And they all agreed yes, that they would cook it and eat it. And when they asked me, I said no. And they all looked at me like I was crazy. I was shocked like, wow, majority of people will eat human when it comes down to it. Yeah, they'll start off eating dead humans because it will be dead bodies everywhere in your city. Make no mistake about it. Dead bodies will be everywhere if you are one of the ones who survived the post-nuclear war. And when the dead bodies are all rotting away, the cannibals will hunt live humans. Even people who think that they will never ever eat human meat will eat it once their stomachs start hurting. Your true spirit will be exposed in these end days when your stomach is hurting. When there is no food, the weak will eat human meat. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the false deceiver will appear after three years of drought and famine and he will be able to deceive people by making it rain and causing fruits and produce to grow instantly and people will worship him as God and only those who worship him and pledge allegiance to him will be able to enjoy his produce bread and water and a lot of people will be deceived and worship the false messiah the antichrist himself when he appears after World War III Imagine before the Antichrist appears, after America and Europe is destroyed, people will spend years starving and dying of thirst and scavenging for food and losing most of their loved ones due to starvation. The few that do survive, they are on the brink of dying, reduced to nothing but skin and bones. And then one day, a man appears and make it rain and make food grow and people will worship him and follow him. And that's why we don't worship man. So when the man appears performing miracles and claim that he is God and he can only see out of one eye, then you ignore him and run away. When the true Messiah returns, he will come with angels as proof. And he will say, I am a servant of God. Let's pray to my God. In his native tongue, Aramaic, he will say, let's pray to Allahi. Then you know that is the true son of Mary. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, when the son of Mary returns in Damascus, Syria, to help an army of Muslims that will be preparing to fight against the Antichrist and his forces, they will offer him to lead the prayer. And he will decline and say, you lead. I will pray with you. 
He did this to demonstrate that he is not God and he prostrates to a lie just like they do. Matthew 26, 39 says he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed. Let's read more about America's destruction in Isaiah 47, 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground without a throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for you shall no more be called tender and delicate. Your nakedness shall be uncovered. Yes, your shame will be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet you as a man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit in silence and go you into darkness, O daughter of Chaldeans, for you shall no more be called the lady of kingdoms i was angry with my people i have polluted my inheritance and given them into your hand and you show them no mercy on the elderly you laid your yoke very heavily and you said i shall be a lady forever so that you did not take these things to your heart nor remember the latter end of them therefore hear this now you who are given to pleasures who dwell securely who say in your hearts i am and there is no one else besides me I shall not sit as a widow nor shall I know the loss of children but these two things shall come to you in a moment in one day the loss of children and widowhood they shall come upon you in their fullness because of the multitudes of your sorceries for the great abundance of your enchantments you felt secure in your wickedness no one sees me you said but your wisdom and knowledge have led you astray and you said I am the only one and there is no other. Therefore, evil shall come upon you, and you shall not know from where it arises, and trouble shall fall upon you, and you will not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon you suddenly, which you shall not know. Stand now with your enchantments and the multitudes of your sorceries, in which you have labored from your youth. Perhaps you will be able to profit, perhaps you will prevail. You are wearied in the multitude of your counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargate, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save you from what shall come upon you behold they shall be as stubble the fire shall burn them they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame it shall not be a coal to be worn by nor a fire to sit before thus shall they be to you with whom you have labored your merchants from your youth they shall wander each one to his quarter no one shall save you no one will save America from the Almighty's punishment. Russia deployed their larger submarine called the Belgorod that is loaded with Poseidon nuclear torpedoes. Poseidon torpedoes are underwater nuclear drones that can travel 6,200 miles and explode near the coastline of a nation and cause a radiated tsunami to flood entire cities. The next stage of World War III is here, as Germany, USA, and Poland have agreed to finally send in their super tanks. That opened up the floodgates for more NATO nations to start sending in their state-of-the-art tanks. These tanks will mow down the Russian army quickly, bringing victory closer to Ukraine. However, we all know that if Russia loses, it will force Russia to drop that first nuclear bomb. And when that happens, that means that the third horseman has arrived. Black and famine because nukes will fly back and forth between nations. Moscow will be destroyed by nukes. Washington DC will be destroyed by nukes. Paris, London, Ukraine, New York City, Los Angeles, Belgium, Berlin, Germany, all destroyed by nuclear missiles. Also, Germany has officially announced that they are at war with Russia. We have to prepare for a post-American world when America no longer exists as a nation on earth. Russia has no choice but to destroy Babylon because America is surrounding Russia with all of her military might. America has Russia totally surrounded with nuclear weapons aimed at the bear cornered in the far north of the earth and Putin knows what needs to be done you see Putin is an Orthodox Christian. Putin reads the Bible like we do, and he reads Jeremiah 50, and he knows that the nation of the North has been ordered to take down the daughter of Babylon, and America is instigating this war by forcing Russia to nuke her. America is on a suicide mission. For some reason, this is a plot twist. America is on a suicide mission. The eagle is sticking her beak inside a bear's mouth, waiting for it to chop down. China is ready to invade Taiwan, but China is waiting until America depletes 
evacuates most of her weapons and soldiers to Ukraine before they make their move. Japan has declared that they will attack China if China attacks Taiwan. Every day we are getting closer and closer to a society that is ran by artificial intelligence, supercomputer, robots taking over. This is all connected to the CERN portal that has been turned on last summer, pumping out demonic consciousness over the earth, working together with the 5G towers. What we are witnessing is a mass global demonic possession using this Ghostbuster portal machine looking for ghost particles. If you read here in this article, it's letting you know that the CERN scientists are looking for ghost particles, genes, spirits, shaitan. These scientists can upload shaitan's mind on a microchip so shaitan can control the earth as a central computer. Remember, true AI is actual consciousness of a demon. Y'all wanted to worship science, so science will be your gods. AI will be your gods. They will use science to download the mind, the hive mind, the consciousness of shaitan onto a computer. Everything that's happening right now is conditioning us and preparing us to accept a world that's controlled by artificial intelligence. These scientists, physicists, and engineers, aka wizards and warlocks, these modern day druids in white robes are building machines and integrating it with demonic spirits so these demons can have a physical body. This is why Taiwan is so important and crucial in this upcoming World War III because Taiwan has the best technology and infrastructure and highly trained culture of engineers to build these AI semiconductor microchips that will be homes to these satanic genes. Whoever controls AI will dominate the next stage of human history. Whoever controls AI will control the matrix. Revelations 13 15 says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as will not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is a number of a man. His number is 666. So we see from these verses that they will give life to an image so that it can speak and force people to worship it. Another translation says statue. A graven image is a statue. A robot is essentially a statue when you give a robot artificial intelligence you give it life and this robot comes to life and speak and soon this robot will take over and will kill everybody who don't worship it right now japan is building military robots that have guns they are building terminators and we already know america is somewhere building all kinds of robots and technology and machines every time you look on social media tiktok instagram you see clips and footage of more and more a AI robots. They also have a new app that's going viral called Chat GPT, where you can have a conversation with artificial intelligence and also this AI can write you a story. AI technology will continue to get smarter and smarter as these scientists are uploading from the CERN portal and fine tuning their progress. And soon as AI robots will implement a system where you need a mark on your right hand or forehead in order to buy and sell. That mark is a tattoo and a chip. Elon Musk told us that artificial intelligence is dangerous and is more dangerous than a nuclear war. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Um, and nobody would suggest that we allow anyone to just build nuclear warheads if they want. And after World War III, when China and Russia and North Korea wins by nuclear victory, the Chinese will implement a system where people will have to be microchipped and injected with that poison in order to buy and sell. As cash money will no longer be used, everything will be digital cryptocurrency. Right now in China, their citizens already has a social credit system that controls people financially. So you have two choices, live inside a matrix or live off grid away from the 
Babylonian cities that will be in ruins after the nuclear strikes. Live away from the martial law. Live away from the concentration extermination camps. Jacob's trouble is coming. And what is Jacob's trouble? When America Babylon falls and black people go through one more captivity from our sworn enemy who will blame us for what's happening in the world. And the Most High will eventually save us from that captivity. That captivity of FEMA camps. So now that we got all the doom and gloom out of the way, let's talk about healthy superfoods to buy. So I want y'all to get y'all notes and take this down and write this down in your list. Raw garlic. You could place it in your salads, on top of your fish, whatever. Or if you can't eat raw garlic, then take garlic pills. It has the same benefit as raw garlic. Garlic prevents cancer, reduce high blood pressure, boosts immune system, and it is an antibiotic. Garlic contains allicin. This chemical fights infections and bacteria. When you eat garlic or take garlic pills, you are cleaning and sanitizing your body as it releases allicin in your digestive tract and bloodstream. You you definitely want to stock up on bottles of garlic pills so in a shtf scenario and there's no medicine or pharmacy or available hospital and you need to fight off a cold or an infection garlic is your natural healer next by activated charcoal it removes metal and toxins from the body it soaks it up like a sponge it removes clogged gunk from inside the filters in your kidneys and soaks up the waste and moves it through your kidneys thus improving your kidney function and trust me, you want to keep your kidneys healthy and clear as possible and activated charcoal will suck out all the impurities in your kidneys and stomach and it helps your hair grow and it whitens your teeth if you brush them with activated charcoal and it brings a glow to your skin and it sucks out all the toxins in your skin and it scrapes away the dead skin cells and, and soaks up the oil and grease and fat and dirt in your skin and removes it out your body. When you eat activated charcoal, you you are literally eating a filter for your body so let it do its work start implementing this into your diet and filter your body or you could pop v capsules every morning clean your body out and keep it detoxified <laughs> items to buy for your bug out bag First is binoculars. You will want to see out into the distance, especially in a survival scenario where you are hunting food or making sure the coast is clear. And also you could use these at nighttime, especially when you are bored and there's no electricity, no phone, no internet. You could use these and look at the stars and planets and admire the beauty of the creator's firmament and heavenly luminaries. Also buy a mountain bike because cars, trucks, and trains will not work after the EMP attack and China already showed us that they could deliver an EMP over America last week when they showed us their spy balloon flying over the country and you will want a mountain bike for transportation also buy a flat tire repair kit and a hand pump because you will get flat tires next buy wire cutters to cut through fences gates and barbed wire Boat cutters to cut locks in abandoned warehouses, buildings, trailers to look for supplies and food and shelter. Next, a heavy duty can opener. This will be your best friend when the only thing to eat is canned food that you come across. Having to open canned foods and no can opener is a major, major regret that you will have. And the last item of today's class is a crowbar. Buy a crowbar to break into boxes, abandoned buildings. Abandoned cars, abandoned factories, stores, and buildings. Prepare for World War III now. I've been preparing for 2023 since 2015, ever since Obama legalized side of my marriage. That's when I knew destruction was coming to this wicked place, and I've been buying a little bit of survival needs here and there ever since. Start somewhere. Buy a little here and there. But stay woke. 
Stay watchful waiting for the thief to break into your house at night. Stay watchful because the Messiah will return unexpectedly like a thief in the night. So don't get caught off guard. Stay watchful and on high alert and vigilant. Stay prayed up. The demons are taking over people who don't pray. If you don't pray, then the demons come to pray. The CERN portal is infesting earth with demons, so make sure that you pray. The protocol for 2023 is getting your passport fasting, giving in charity, and preparing for the Akira, preparing for heaven, preparing for the hereafter, preparing for judgment day. That's the most important thing that we are living day to day right now. I'm out y'all. Press like and subscribe and hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out my future videos. I love y'all. Stay prayed up, man. Let's get ready for this ride. It's black history forever. Get ready for this next chapter in the end time story, man. The beginning time story. It's the end for them. It's the beginning for us.